I can still remember the excitement in April 2012 when Google announced Google Glass to the world. Unlike all of the virtual reality displays that came before it, this one had the might of Google behind it, and everybody thought this was going to put augmented reality in the forefront of everyday life. Models wore it, developers flocked to join the Explorer program, Time Magazine named it as one of the inventions of the year. Yet, after less than three years, Google pulled the plug on it. Why is that? There are a few factors at play. First and foremost, it's important to understand Google fundamentally is a technology company that pushes the boundaries of what technology can do. A lot of times, the programs they do create solutions without first fleshing out the problem statement. Now, while this approach works great for Google, it's probably not the fastest way to create a fantastic product that solves real customer needs. The second problem is that they ran a really, really large hardware beta program with a broad set of people participating, including consumers. Now, hardware is not like software in that with software products, you can open up a beta program to a broad audience and iterate very quickly in the field until you get to product market fit. With hardware, each iteration takes longer, the prototypes are fragile, and they may not stay working for very long. So with a lot of devices on the market, it's difficult to manage expectations of durability and functionality. And the consumers also may not always understand that they're testing prototype software on prototype hardware, so they become disappointed with durability and functionality, and they stop wearing it. And the developers see that, and they stop developing for it. Last but not least, there's the question of the killer app. When the Explorer program was opened, Google's position is that they will provide the hardware and the infrastructure, and the developers will create the killer app. Um, a lot of really great innovative apps did get written, except the killer app never really came. So ordinary people never really got the full potential of what this device can do for them in their everyday life. Google Glass right now is back under the, um, the leadership of Tony Fadell, founder of Nest. And I very much look forward to seeing what Google uh, will do differently this second time around, starting with the problem and the customer's needs and wants, and coming out with a great product that serves customer needs.